How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be tattooing one of Michelangelo statues, David, and the placement is gonna be on the inner bicep. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Let's go. My favorite part is the music. <laughs> Good I need a good song, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Shuffle that. Oh! No les conviene que sea tu enemigo. Prendo la vela, luego me persino. El rosario en el cuello y camino. Por los callejones de la Santa Fe de la noche. En las calles con las rodas a todo en el coche. Le vuelvo la cumbia nada más que agarra con broche. Oh, you got it, chico. <sighs> Damn, that was a lot. That was a lot of hypeness. That's a lot of energy there. All right. This armpit got to go, bro. <laughs> I have uh, stitches. You have stitches on your armpit? Yeah, I you... got uh, some kid dared me to jump off my garage to the floor. Your, your what? Your garage? Like the garage roof. We were on the roof. Uh huh. And he, he told me he would give me a Pokemon card. This For is, a Pokemon card, bro? This is, this is back Damn. then. Damn, okay. Uh huh. I didn't see there was a shelf. And there's like this uh, thing protruding, like sticking out. And I landed on it. Like, land, straight up landed on it. I think you can see it. Oh, dang, that's a big ass scar. Yeah, I know. What um, happened to the kid that dared you to do that? Uh, I don't know, but he never gave me my card. <laughs> <laughs> what the? You know, that reminds me. Bro, gotta, you gotta search him up on and, uh, Facebook or Instagram. Be like, yo, where's my fucking Pokemon card, bro? <laughs> yeah, I kinda wanna leave. I kinda wanna leave this little area of hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cause it looks funny, bro. <laughs> Do you think? I've never really shaved my armpits no? ever. No. There you go. You're welcome. It might, it might be the, the new fit going forward. Hey. Yeah, what's the purpose of armpits? Uh, the purpose of armpits? <laughs> to hold your torso and your arm together, maybe? <laughs> I mean, yeah, armpit hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I'm a, I have to shave the whole thing. It's All not right. going to look right. Because <laughs> yeah. see, the thing is that if I was to leave it and then uh, I was to post the video, yeah. all the focus is going to go towards, wait, why didn't he shave the whole armpit? Was I... he that lazy <laughs> that he didn't want to shave it? <laughs> you know, and I'm over here like, I just thought it looked funny, bro. <laughs> to leave a little bit of hair there. The way I'm looking at the whole entire thing here is, um, at first, my initial thought was like, you know, I just place it just like that, you know. Uh, lined up with the whole arm, but I feel like it it's not gonna look right because it's such a tight area that I need to tilt it a little bit and give it more, more style to the whole thing. So right now I'm just kind of seeing the way it looks in different directions. I definitely don't want the stencil to look like this at all because as soon as he lifts his arm up, it's gonna seem like this is facing in an awkward uh, place. It's gonna be facing in a direction that I don't want it to face. I put on enough stencil that way whenever the, I put on the stencil, it doesn't smear everywhere. So right now I can barely feel the stencil that's perfect. So I like to, that way it doesn't smear everywhere. Okay, here we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the chin area. With the chin area, it is, on my reference, it is very light. I ended up making the contrast darker, so I'm able to grab the highlights and the darker areas and bring them to a different light source. So for me, the most important thing is looking at the light source. Without the light source, we don't have, we're not gonna let the tattoo breathe. As I'm getting closer to the chin area, I'm gonna start grabbing my, my medium gray and make sure that, that the chin breathes because you don't want to make it look like solid black. Uh, so definitely pay attention to where your highlights are at. And yeah, so that's going to be my first step. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Now that I got the chin, and I did it the background. That's uh, things that I really needed. Um, I decided to start doing the background as well because that was gonna let me know how dark to make certain parts of this tattoo. So now I did the chin, now I got the background. So next, my, my main focus right now is gonna be making sure that the chin area here and the, the highlight on the lip stand out as much as I can make them stand out. 
Uh, that way, whenever you see it from afar, your eye goes straight to those points, and that's gonna let you know, it's gonna help you register where the mouth is, where the nose is, and it's gonna help, you know, to make the tattoo look even better. Highlights and contrast. Quick update, uh, I am now doing the cheek area uh, of the statue. Uh, for one thing I am noticing that I'm doing and that I think it's important, I, so here I'm grabbing my medium gray and what I'm doing here is doing texture. I'm using my 14 round liner. The brand is Ambition. I'm gonna put the link on the description if you guys wanna get one of these needles, I really like them a lot. Here what I'm doing is doing little textures. My voltage is a 5.0 and as I get closer to the line that I made here on my stencil, as I get closer to that, I am going to start separating the dots and the texture, the scribbles, the lines, that way it gives me space to start applying my lightest gray because if I keep doing this, it's not going to be consistent. If I just keep applying the gray across the whole thing and finish here, it's not going to give me the highlight that I want to see. And that is why I'm, I'm kind of separating it, separating it before I even get to that line. That way I start blending it out slowly and it has like a smooth ending to this medium tone and not so harsh. Very important. And then after that, I'm just going to jump in a little bit in here. When I step back, I notice where I need to go darker. So it looks like I need to go darker in this area. A nice stretch, that way it's easier to pack in this little texture. <laughs> Spread it into the highlight area, that way it, it gives you that feeling of stone. Ella me la puedo imaginar Voy a preguntar Por cuando se agita
All right, the last thing I'm gonna be doing now is I pretty much got the whole thing done. And uh, the last thing I'm gonna do is the white highlights. There's not a lot of areas that I need to add white highlights. So that's a good sign because that means that you're not gonna be irritating the skin too much. Um, as far as the statue, I'm using his skin tone to really make those white highlights. That way I'm, I don't have to use it too much. And the needle that I'm gonna be using is a seven round liner. Uh, and I'm only gonna dab it on a couple areas. Uh, for example, the lip, the lip needs it. Um, I'm just gonna go in here, do the brightest white highlight that I can do. I'm running my machine at the same voltage as I always run it, 5.0. And it really helps a lot with white highlights because it allows you to pack it in and it is not a messy situation where if your voltage is really high and, and if you apply those white highlights, your client is probably going to look like he's bleeding out. <laughs> At least with the 5.0 voltage, it's, it's pretty, you know, you can see a little bit of blood, but not too much. So the other area that I'm going to add white highlights is right here, this little corner right here. Not too much, just enough. Boom, just enough to give you that glare. Next is right next to this shadow right here. A sharp one. Boom. And then do texture. Then in here, boom, just enough. Then I want this to look bright as hell, so I'm gonna go in there. Texture once again. Nice. Next, just a messy line going down here. Texture, texture, texture. Going here, just enough. And the last area is the eyelid right here. I need that to look super bright. There you go, just enough. You don't need a lot of white highlights. Uh, I don't like using a lot of white highlights. The reason why is because depending on the, on the client's skin complexion, uh, depending on the way they take care of the skin, a lot of people are different. So what happens is that during summer, if they go to the beach and they get super sunburned, the white is gonna turn a little bit brownish because you're tanning and the white, the white highlights are so bright that it, it, it tans with your skin, you know, so. <laughs> You're like, boy, stop cleaning it. <laughs> so we have the roses here. They're about four years healed. I did them four years ago. The top of the sleeve, I did it three years. Then we have the skull. This one is two years. 